Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. Today you are rolling with Rich. And what I'm going to talk about today is motor vlog. I'm going to break it down, talk about what it is. I'm not actually on a back road, I'm actually riding downtown Antioch. That's the city we live in. Very small city. But I want to talk about motor vlogging. What are motor vloggers? Just in case you're new and thinking about doing it. What I'm not going to cover is equipment needed and all that stuff like that. One of the reasons I bought it, this, I really want to talk about this topic is because I've been seeing other motor vloggers trying to discourage people from doing motor vlog. And I, I don't get it. And what I'm talking about is these motor vloggers, the ones that I've seen trying to discourage people, have nice, huge channels. And when I'm talking about big channels, I'm talking about like above 10,000 subscribers. And a couple of them I've seen had somewhere around 20, 30,000 and above. And what I'm talking about, they're trying to discourage people, is they're saying things like, motor vlogging isn't easy as you think. It is hard. You have to do this. This is hard. Coming up with topics and this and all that is hard. And it's not so. I'm here to tell you, it's not hard, nor is it easy. It's somewhere in the between. It's what you make of it. So if you plan on becoming a motor vlog, or doing motor vlog, shall I say, don't let anybody discourage you from doing it. Another reason, some people seem to think there's one type of motor vlog. And if you don't do this particular thing, you are not a motor vlogger. So we also are going to discuss different type of motor vloggers. So how I am going to get into this. What I am going to do is head over by this marina first. <laughs> what I'm going to do, come on, somebody come. I got it. What I'm going to do is break down the word motor vlog. What is motor vlogging? By dissecting the word. So we're going to get started right now. Motor vlogger, motor vlogging, motor vlogs with an S, whatever you want to call it. What is it? So let's break the word down. Moto. Simple. It stands for motorcycle. Moto is short for motorcycle. Now I know you can bring up the argument of, well, cars, planes, boats. Trains, everything have a motor, Rich. But come on, we're talking about motorcycles. And when we talk about motor vlog, that's what it's for, is motorcycles. Just that simple. No more, no less. Moving on. Vlogging. With the V as in Victor. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to break it down even further. We're going to take the V and vlog it and move it on the side. That way we can really understand this. Nothing going on in this parking lot. It's one of the parking lot I was thinking about coming to practice, but it seems like there's a lot of boats out today. Well, it is a weekend. Anyway, I'm going to take the V and put it on the side. And we're going to talk about logging. For all intents and purposes, logging. It's another easy one. Logging is just creating an account of your day, of what you're doing. An accurate account. So if you have a website, they call it blogging. It's updating people on what's going on on your website and your life. Just an account of it. Just that simple. Sort of like a ship's captain or anybody that's on the bridge of a ship, they're creating a bridge log. Or if you're on a job that requires you to check in, like a lot of security jobs, and you have to go from one station to another, and you're writing it down, you're writing a log. So you're creating an account of what you're doing that day. I'm gonna get out of this sun, shining directly in my face. Then I will continue. Make a U-turn. That's why y'all gotta do parking lot practice, so you can do U-turn like this, nice and sharp. Anyway, that's all it is. So moto is short for motorcycle, and logging is just creating an account, an account of what you're doing so your viewers will know what you're doing or 
whoever's seeing the account will know what's going on. Okay, now let's bring the V back into the equation. Because this seems to be the part that people are confused on. And V, contrary to popular belief, does not, and I repeat, V does not means voice. I know some people are going to get upset with that. But it does not mean voice. V is for video. You are creating a motorcycle video log. I see the police up here going to be nosy and see what's going on. They got a car stopped. You're creating a motorcycle video log. I'm pausing because they got this car stopped. Look like it was a car with some things on it. Probably might be a stolen vehicle. I don't know. I don't want to say somebody stole a vehicle. Anyway, you are creating a motorcycle video log, not a voice log, because if it was a voice log, we wouldn't see what you're doing. Ah, back into the sun. So, the minute you turn on your camera, you are actually motor vlogging. You are creating a motorcycle video log. So don't let nobody discourage you by doing it. Another reason, I hear this a lot. I hear people saying, I was out on a bike and I didn't know what to vlog about. I turned the camera on, didn't know what to vlog about. I know what you mean. You're talking about speaking. But the minute you turn that camera on, you are vlogging. So let's talk about what type of vloggers there are. And if you're new to it, you've got to choose what type of vlogger you want to become. Now we all know the most popular type of motor vlog, without a doubt, is what I am doing now. Speaking, coming up with a subject, talking about that subject, and letting everybody know about your day. You're creating a speaking motorcycle video log. Just that simple. Another type of vlogger is people who just don't like to talk. They will just put the music on and ride. And I know people don't like that as much as they like the most popular one. But it's entertaining. And then there's what we like to do. Multi-purpose. I don't want our channel to be one-dimensional. Multi-purpose. We will ride on a bike. We'll speak on a bike. We'll put music on it. Especially in our travel videos. Make sure you watch our travel videos. You'll love them. Hopefully they inspire you to get out on a bike and travel. And we will get off the bike and show you where we are. For us, that's motor vlogging. And then there's people who only, and sports bikers do this a lot, they would only have their video sound on their exhaust. So you can hear it revving up, you can hear the engine. And there are some very, very popular channels that does these things. And they don't speak a word. They do not speak a word. Oh, this next, next type of motor vlogger is which I can't do or I haven't tried yet is voiceovers some people love doing voiceovers and some people are incredibly incredibly good at voiceovers and mixing voiceovers with on bike talking also and then there's one other one I could think of so remember to write in the comment below that I, I may have missed some and what type of motor vlogger you are or what type that you like and well, I know 90% going to be, I like when people just talk about a subject on a bike. I know that for sure. But the other one is, and uh, who does it extremely well? I'll tell you his name, but B-roll. This person actually done several B-roll, B-roll only, 100% B-roll videos concerning motorcycles. And it was Anonymous Biker USA. If you hadn't seen this guy, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check him out. Anonymous Michael USA. Man, when he done those things, blow me away. Very, very knowledgeable, too. So what are, what are the type of motor vlogger I'm missing that you might want to become? I don't know. So make sure you put it in the comment section. So, so that's what I decided to do today, vloggers. So motor vlogging, you are a 
motorcycle video log. You're creating a motorcycle video log. So you thinking about doing it, go for it. If you like it, keep it up. If you don't, quit at any time. But don't let nobody discourage you from doing it. But most of all, do it for the fun of it. Don't worry about nothing else. Just do it for the fun of it. You're going to love it. We met some great, fantastic people just because we started doing YouTube motor vlogging and riding on it and travel videos. But that's all I have for right now. But if you're out riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, this is Rich, and I'm out. Peace. Now my phone ringing. <laughs> Hello?